San Renmu makes cheap knives, and since I'm usually broke, I buy cheap knives to review. Or sometimes people send me cheap knives, so I can spend 10 hours to make a video on a free $10 knife. Life is good. Anyway, this video is about the San Renmu 7084LUX-PK. I've been carrying this knife off and on for a few weeks now, so let's see if it's worth a shit. The 7084 is a shortened handle, everyday carry sized knife that goes for compactness over ergonomics. So let's throw up these dimensions, like overall length, doot, doot, doot. Then we move on to blade length, and we look at that for a second, notice the, I don't know, the cutting edge. Then we go to handle length. Handle length is kind of short, yep. Then uh, we move on to weight, spine thickness, and whatever, okay. It's best to get that out of the way now because what if that's the only part of these you watch? So the knife retails for about $10, so expect it to have some cheap stainless steel. It looks like it uses 12C27, which is more commonly known as Sandvik, but I mean, who knows if it's really Sandvik or not. The blade is a drop point hollow grind that's partially mirror polished and partially satin. It comes pretty sharp out of the packaging which makes it easy to cut yourself while looking at the camera when making YouTube reviews. The blade is deployed by thumb studs and almost feels assisted if you hit it just right. I wish the thumb studs stuck out a little bit further or were a little more oversized because it would make deployment more consistent. Maybe if the blade had a hump, I don't know. As it is though, you don't have to hit it with much force at all for a full deployment. The blade is held into place by a liner lock which holds the blade in place with no rock. Inside is a full stainless steel liner, and you're like, oh man, I've got a gonzo, and I know what that means. Uh, it's good because the knife seems fairly light for a compact carry because the liner is thin. The handle is made from an FRN-ish material, let's just call it FRN, which has some light texturing to keep it from feeling slippery. Now the handle is short, meaning your hand isn't designed to go around the whole thing. This is more of like an office blade or for light duty work because the handle Hits about the middle of the inside of my hand when it's closed. But it's sharp and it's lightweight and it seems best suited for paper products. It also has that string hole in the back for rope licorice or something. The clip placement is fixed, that means tip down, blade forward if it's in my right pocket. It's shiny and smooth and curved so it slides into your pocket nicely, it doesn't catch on anything, although it isn't a deep carry. Alright, let's shave a stick first while I talk about stuff. The knife is designed to be compact and light. The ergonomics don't lend itself to be a big, heavy-duty use blade that you use all day. It's a light-duty, occasional use knife for your egg roll from Panda Express or that priority mailbox you got your cheap knives in. Or I mean, ah, uh, sticks, sticks outdoors, bro. Come on, sharpening sticks is something you need to do to survive. It's constructed well, but if you own any San Renmu's, you know they are always pretty solid blades. San Renmu makes a lot of smaller, international friendly blades. I wish deployment was a little bit quicker, but I ain't really mad about it. Anyway, it's a solid buy for $10 for a light use small blade. If you like this review, subscribe to my channel, like the video, leave a comment, and why don't you go ahead and have a second egg roll? Thanks for watching.